right guys, so yesterday I had a memory card scare. All right guys, it was a great last day out here in Bohol today. However, I'm having an issue with my memory card. Basically, I vlogged all day and the footage is not there. I put it in the computer, it's not there. However, the memory is being used, so I know it's there. Please DM me if you guys know what to do. Unfortunately, someone from my Instagram community saved me where I found 95% of the footage. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I lost the first couple clips where we started from our hotel and headed out to Alona Beach. So I'm gonna start the vlog back up here where we are at Alona Beach and started our island hopping adventure out in Bohol. All right, so we found our guy. We're walking through the water to the boat. There's supposedly sea urchins here. So we got our flip flops on and we're heading to Balika Sun Island where we're gonna go snorkeling and then we're heading to one of the Virgin Islands. And again, the first thing we're gonna do is dolphin watching. So I swear if they steal my cell phone again, I'm not gonna be happy. Oh my God, this is like, this is quite the adventure already. Look at Ian. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh my God, so we didn't expect to walk through a minefield of sea urchins. So there's like a ton of them down there and they're highly poisonous, but we're about to start our island hopping tour. We didn't know it was just us two. We thought it was gonna be with a group of people. And let's go find some dolphins, but not lose my cell phone. Ah. Oh my God, we found a ton of dolphins right over here. Like all the boats are following them, but like 20 or 30 of them right over here. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. And they went underwater. <laughs> there they are. Oh, oh, they're right here behind me. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, they're like right around here. They're literally packs of like 20 of them just jumping up and down. This is so cool. I honestly had zero expectations to find dolphins today. Our couple chances that we had last time was just unlucky, but we just spotted like 20 or 30 dolphins just jumping around in a group. All right, I think we're gonna head to the island now. All right guys, so we finally made it to Bali Kaksak Island. Right now it's low tide, so like we're trying to find a way onto the island. I still can't believe we found dolphins and I still have my cell phone on me. Nice try, dolphins. After a quick little boat ride, we finally made it to Bali Kasig Island. Bali Kasig Island is a marine sanctuary and there's also a dive resort. There's beautiful white sand beaches here and it's primarily known for diving, snorkeling, beautiful snorkel spots, but I still can't believe we found dolphins. And right now we're actually following our two guides and we're gonna jump on another boat and supposedly we're gonna go snorkeling. So we'll see what we find out here. Oh, they're so cute. All the chicks. Come on, guys love chicks. Where are we going? Where are we going? All right guys, so we're at our spot. This is our tiny little boat. We're gonna be going on a little paddle boat and we're gonna be going snorkeling. So there's supposed to be some incredible snorkel spots out here. Unfortunately, they said it's a 50-50 chance that this boat could tip over. So I'm gonna probably put this camera away and we're gonna get the GoPro out and uh, go on a little snorkeling adventure right now. It's only like a 10, 15 minute way out there, but hopefully we don't tip over. Oh my goodness. Do we tip over or not? Take a guess. No. No? Okay. All right, we'll see. <laughs> so five minutes away and we're gonna see some sea turtles and we're gonna do some snorkeling action right now. This truly is an incredible snorkel spot. There's so many different corals. There's so many different tons of fish, especially when you bring bread, they just surround you. The bad thing is there's so many tourists everywhere and half of them don't even know how to swim. So there's just a ton of life jackets <laughs> waddling around in the water. But I think we're gonna get a little more snorkeling in and then we're gonna get out of here.
That was hands down one of the top snorkeling experiences I've ever had. I felt like Santa fish releasing all this bread for the last 20 minutes. I was just spinning. We had a full two loaves of bread. It was a lot of fun, let's just say. Now we're heading to the next island, which I am super excited about. Let's just say hopefully it replaces uh, Leyte, which we're supposed to go to. I'm like used to tree houses. I guess this is like a boat house. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Oh my god, we made it! Woo! Look at all the sand! It wraps all the way there. And the water is at like full saturation. Oh my goodness. Dude. Boom! This is incredible. We made it to the Virgin Islands right by Bull Hole. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. There's a sandbar like right over here. There's one on this side that you're not allowed to go to, but there's a giant sandbar right in front of me. I hope you guys enjoy more of a cinematic vlog because we're gonna have more cinematics going on. I am so stoked to be out here. This is so nice. I'd say this might not make up for Leyte and Caligaman Island, which we're supposed to head out to, but this is still beautiful. There's a lot of people out here. Check it out. It's like tents everywhere. I'm not sure if they sell food or not, but it looks like I see a menu like right over there in one of the tents. And this is pretty much the tropical vibes that I absolutely love in all my vlogs and all my videos. It's low tide, which we're really lucky for because majority of the trips, it's always high tide. We've been missing out on sandbars and ah, welcome to the Virgin Islands out in Bohol. I think we're gonna hang out in the sandbar for about an hour, get the drone up, get some beautiful cinematics around here. The water is so, so warm and we got as much time as we need out here, so. Uh, boom! It confirmed, apparently someone bought that area of the Virgin Islands, so it's been bought by someone, can't really head there. But let's get the drone up, let's get this B-roll and cinematics going right now. like no one in the general area where we're at. They're all probably that way a little bit. So we have this entire area for ourselves of the sandbar. And this sandbar is not as nice as the one in Leyte, Caligaman Island, but it's still nice. Not too many people around. It's a little bit of rocky around here, but who would have expected a sandbar right by Bull Hole? Did not expect this at all. And the breeze actually feels really, really good right now. The clouds are kind of rolling in. We got the shots. I think we're just gonna chill here, relax in the sandbar for a little bit. <sighs> Lay out. It's been a long day since we woke up at like 5 a.m. I don't even wanna get up. I'm just vlogging, laying on my back. Oh, it's so nice. If you're coming out to Bull Island Hop, guys, I think we're gonna head back soon, but this is like the perfect ending to our Bull Hole trip. Last day in Bull Hole. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Pound it. Got awesome shots. We're heading out right now. Confirm these are all like stands where they're selling food, coconuts, barbecuing food. It's probably a little more expensive, but that's how they roll when you're on a sand part and buying some food. Yeah, we're gonna head back. I think the boat ride's like 45 minutes. One of the loudest boats that I've ever been on, so hopefully we won't go deaf. And uh, yeah, we should be back to a little bit shortly. Salamat. Thank you guys. All right, we're back right now on Alona Beach out in Panglao. It was an incredible day out here. And as you can see, Alona Beach right behind me, there's tons of restaurants, as I mentioned this morning, tons of shops. At nighttime, this is like one of the main areas. There's nightclubs around here. But right now, we are kind of hungry, so we're gonna try to get a small bite and then head back to the hotel and start some editing. Wow, look at that water! Woo! Well, right now we're walking through the main street that gets you to Lona Beach. There's tons of dive shops, restaurants, nightclubs, you name it, they have it out here. It's party at night, I hear. But right now we are on the hunt for food and trying not to get hit by cars. 
Oh, I'm gonna get sandwiched. All right guys, so we ended up making back to Conrada's Place Hotel and Resorts. The food on Alona Beach is a little pricey, but that's what you can expect. It's a main tourist spot. It's a main beach out here in Bohol, but it was an incredible two days, three days out here in Bohol so far. And tomorrow we're heading to Cebu, uh, to Bantayan Island. But I highly recommend, if you guys are coming out to Bohol, definitely check out the Chocolate Hills, definitely check out the Tarshirs, definitely go island hopping. There's tons of things you can do in Bohol, and we only skimmed the tip of it. And if you guys are coming out to Bohol, definitely check out Conrada's Place and Hotel. The the reason why we're back here, the food is absolutely delicious and Conrada is very, very welcoming. So we absolutely enjoyed our stay for three nights out here in Conrada's Place and Resort. Although tonight's our last night, which will be the third night. And again, tomorrow we're heading out to Cebu and Bohol is such an incredible island to check out if you're coming out into the Philippines. The cool thing about Bohol, specifically Panglao Island, which we're on right now, they just built an international airport on Panglao Island. So instead of just having domestic flights, which Bohol has, they have international flights that allow you to come directly to Bohol and Panglao Island, which is pretty awesome. It opened yesterday, the airport, and the president was here yesterday. So it's a lot easier to come out to Bohol if you guys are flying in from Bangkok, from anywhere international, instead of just having a domestic flight. A lot of the islands where you're coming out to the Philippines, you have to get into Manila, and then you can get to the island, or you stop in Cebu, then you get to the next spot. But from what I heard, a lot of these islands are building international airports, so you're able to fly directly to the locations and enjoy your time there. I highly recommend, check out Bohol if you guys are coming out here to the Philippines. It was such an incredible three days so far. But thank you guys so much for watching, and welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new to the channel, did 30 days in the Philippines, and we're halfway there. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Comment down below if you guys have any questions traveling to Philippines or specifically Southeast Asia. Make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified for the next vlogs, which will be happening in Cebu. And I'm super, super stoked for where we're ending the vlog series in a few days. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick cinematic vlog out here in Bohol. It's a little bit different of a vlog which I made today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. There's this little flea that won't get away from me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs>